I remember, oh, and it's disgusting because I remember looking at the study, and they obviously <laughs> weren't they weren't sitting because it was higher than the seat. <laughs> it's disgusting. But anyway, so <laughs> the GF. <laughs> The GF waited until Bibber went. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to a Filipina in the UK. If you are new to our channel, my name is Dim and this is my This is Spence. Husband Spence, okay? Um okay, so our topic for tonight is about things you must know before marrying a Filipina you know right. what they need to know okay okay so what they need to know what you need to know if mm. you're planning to have a long-term relationship with a Filipina yeah marrying a Filipina marrying a Filipina yeah okay this I, get, I yeah. guess I guess the th first thing that you should realize and uh, don't be too surprised. I, I was surprised, but it's better if you have some forewarning, I guess, is you don't just marry the Filipina. You are basically marrying the whole family. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. the whole family. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, and they may expect a lot from you. Yeah. So uh, just be aware of that, and, and you don't have to do anything but you can certainly help a little i wouldn't go so far as uh, some may think that uh, because uh, their daughter or, or, or sister has now got a foreign they can retire it happens a lot that happens and uh, that's a no-no if you're working then uh, they should work absolutely but it may be expected not necessarily from the filipina but from the family yeah and I suggest that you start as you mean to go along don't don't go too crazy yeah mostly foreigners who lives in the Philippines they don't live together with the family I noticed that when I were when I was in the Philippines you know why they move far away from the fa family I was thinking my goodness me it's a bit mean or something you know that is not nice for the family uh, for the girl that he is taking her away from her family but now i know because of the pressure you know what happened in their family that's gonna be your fault if you don't if you don't want to help them see it's just a big responsibility so you it's not really your responsibility but that's what the family expecting yeah because you have to understand that in the philippines uh all foreigners are millionaires yeah that's the end of it that's that's the law that's a law and uh, I think they 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 just don't believe anything else but you're a millionaire yeah and I'm sure that absolutely the biggest majority of the foreigners are willing to help yeah, and it's but, really but, up to him but, see? Yeah, but the problem is the problem is I think in a lot of cases uh, if, if if the foreigner helps a lot of the time, whatever he gives is not enough. And the more you give, the more they will want. Is that true? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's never gonna be enough, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm sure not all the families oh, are like of that. Of course, of course. But most. Most, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Most of the Filipina I know, yeah. Mm. Family, it's just, it's just, this a it's just a common problem really so yeah so yeah for you girls you should do it for yourself not for your family and don't make any promises that i'm going to marry for nerds i'm gonna make you rich or build a house or you know buy cars don't do that you know my my younger sister did that <laughs> when she had a foreigner yeah she did so many promises i've never done that because i don't want to be called a liar. You can, they, 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 the Filipino can't promise it because she's not the foreign. Well, some, some I don't know why some Filipinos mm. were doing that. Oh, what? And then 
now they cannot blame me for I didn't say any promises so they cannot blame me it's really up to Spence you know it's really up to the husband really if you want to help I, the I, family I, I, I think I've got, to, I've got to be honest and say that maybe before but certainly not today it's uh, it's not hard to live in the Philippines it's not hard to get a job it's not hard to get a good income if the Filipino family if uh, if someone willing to work then there's never really an issue is there it's, it's just a problem is a lot may not want to work It's hard, but you know, if you it's, wanna, it's not work. hard. It's not hard because uh, there's two of your brothers who work, who who really, who really uh, have a very, very good income. And uh, if one of them chooses to give it all away, then that's not my fault. No. 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 And the other one who wants to look after his family. They've got a really, really good life. Mm -hmm. Really, really, really good life. I know it's hard sometimes, you know, it's hard, but you need to do something. You need to work. That's yeah, it. yeah, and I think it's um, a lot of it in the Filipino mentality is uh, uh, you must share. If 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 uh, if you have three and there's three in the family, so that's one each, even though they don't work. That's the problem. Whoever it is, if there's one Filipino working or oh, Filipina then uh, they must share you uh, just move far away from them if, if, you, have an, if you have an attitude <laughs> really? like that yes. yeah, if, yeah yeah if they have attitude but most foreigners you know most filipina who married foreigners that i know they don't live with the family that that's why i say why they why they don't live together you know it's it's just yeah but i, I know now why yeah but 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 you should you should it's a really good idea to speak to you uh, speak about this uh, with your Filipina oh that's a good thing yeah 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 speak and just say you you, you can help but but you're not going to uh, uh, to pay young boys to retire in their 20s hmm that's uh, that's a poor attitude yeah you need to talk to her yeah and, 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 and if she believes that's uh, the problem because you didn't talk to me about it is that? I didn't know I didn't know I, huh? I was in I don't even know what's <laughs> going on you know yeah, yeah. and uh, if she believes that it's up to you to look after all a family extended family then you've got some difficult choices to make well if she want yeah if she want to support her family then she has to work isn't it that's why some filipina but there is a choice also the family can work yeah family can it's, work it's not up to her it's not up to her but that's how we they do really yeah there is a lot of filipino girls will uh, live with her and then she will work mm. and they will, she will send all her money back home all of it and, and it's not good it's gonna create you know tension with yeah, a lot of friction there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, certainly it's a good idea to speak about this with your filipina see. to see what her beliefs are about that is there anything else i don't know Do anything else friends very quickly that uh, there's this thing in the Philippines when there's a lot of the girls have tampo which basically means you've said something wrong and she will just go quiet and she won't speak to you at all and she said that nothing's wrong and uh, she just wants to be quiet and you, you, uh, she won't tell you what's wrong which is really really dumb yeah and it can be quite annoying when you don't know what you've done. and it, it may have just been something that you've said that was misinterpreted you know in the translation you may have done nothing wrong sometimes i yeah, certainly come I across so. that you, you, before when it was misinterpretation of what i'd said yeah yeah i think there's something you should know if you are uh, an older dude like myself and you just uh, 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 i don't have to put this but you you you, you end up with a a younger Filipina who's crazy uh, who's crazy enough <laughs> and she's she's not had any children she's not had a relationship whatever for goodness sakes you know uh, 
part of the deal is that she will want a child. Mm. And if you don't, absolutely 100% don't want a child, then either marry an older girl or marry a girl that's got children already. You should, and you have no right to deprive a young girl of her wishes to have her own family, even if it's just one child. If you're not willing to do that, then you really, mm. you're being quite selfish. Mm. That's right, Danny. Yeah, yeah. That's a good and one. There's, there's no reason why any young girl should not be entitled to just one child anyway. Mm -hmm. And we've seen that when, uh, when they said, no, it's not happening, not happening. Well, and even they say they will have a child with her. Mm. And then once they're married, he changes his mind. And puts uh, puts things in there. Uh, when you pass your test, or when you get qualified, or when you get a good job, and it keeps going on. He's no intention of ever having another child, mm. and that's very very selfish. So yeah, if you marry a younger girl, mm. understand that she will want a child, mm. and she has every right to ha to have oh, yeah, a child. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very selfish if you not to do that. Anything else? Uh, uh, Marry the whole family. Mm -hmm. Some are prone to tampo. If it's a younger girl, then she's entitled to a child. Mm -hmm. Or you certainly, if, if uh, we've been through this those times so very, very quickly, if you're looking uh, at uh, having a relationship, starting a relationship, or you're in a relationship with a uh, Filipina, then uh, make sure she's not married. Yeah. Won't go into it too much, but yeah, make sure she's not married. Mm. Yeah. That's because there is uh, no divorce in the Philippines. Okay. There's annulment, but uh, that's virtually impossible as well. Yeah. So it's a lost cause, basically. And lots of guys say, "Oh, don't worry. I, oh no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get an annulment. I'm going to get an annulment, and it's only going to take me uh, five years and, and, and cost me uh, five hundred thousand pesos." If I'm lucky, mm, maybe so. she will say, "Oh, it's okay. I will do my annulment. Don't worry. It just can't. take me she, just bullshit. one year, like that." And that's bullshit. Sorry, but she can't do that. No, can't do for, that. for a start, if she's married, you will have to uh, first uh, have a big wad of money to pay the husband off. For a start, yeah. he's not going to sign a piece of paper uh, uh, without a lot of money. Okay. So marriage, married women are really, I'm very sorry, but don't go there. Uh, what else? Lots of good things about marrying a Filipina. Uh, I think, personally, my opinion, a Filipina is much more happy and willing to look after her husband. In every in every way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't want uh, uh, mostly if, if they they don't want a separate life from me. They want to be with you. They want to be a family. They want to look after you hundred percent. In lots and lots and lots of ways. Filipina can be nagging sometimes, but well, maybe you did something wrong. <laughs> yeah, talk it out, talk it out, talk it out, talk it out. <laughs> yeah, but unless I've been very very lucky. And. Uh, Get one that's happy to look after me and our son. Yeah. Yeah, very. But it's a two way thing because I look after you as well. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that was hard. That was a long time coming out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you look after yeah. me. Yeah. You look after me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Filipina are naive, isn't it? Filipina? A naive. Naive, yeah. They don't know a lot. Yeah, they don't know a lot about uh, geography. Or history, science, yeah, except and some, you know, in bed also. Well, yeah, but 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 that's not just for the parents. Anyone is inexperienced. Mm. Anybody is mm. inexperienced, mm. right? Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's it's amazing. You might find it quite unusual the fact that the acceptance of things, not mm. being inquisitive. No, not, not being that inquisitive. One. Just you know, if if if, if they go. Uh, if we went somewhere to an office expecting some service and they just say, oh, you have to wait for two hours, you'd say, well, why? 
why, why, why? Where if a Filipino had said, you just got to wait for two hours, they'd just say, sit there, we have to wait for two hours, and that's it. They'll, 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 they have no interest in, in the reason why. Just acceptance. Mm, accept yeah. it, why not? Yeah. yeah There's maybe. nothing you can do about it, do we? Well, there is. What? You can chew about it. No, I'm not, I'm not wasting my freaking mouth to do that. <laughs> so that's it. That's hmm? it. Yes, Filipino can be very naive. Especially from uh, where they don't know a lot about the world. They <laughs> don't know about the world? Yeah. <laughs> wow. All, all you knew was, was like the... Uh, the you had working dude. Squ six, six square kilometres where, where you'd lived. You didn't know anything outside that. Nothing Why do you want to learn like that? We're busy, you know, working and feeding ourselves. We're hungry, you know. <laughs> Important for us is work and get some rice. <laughs> fill, up our, fill up our tummy. That's it. Uh, yeah, most Filipino girls are, are hard work working. What kind of working is this? Well, no, no, any, any work. They're, they're hard working. The Filipino boys aren't so hard working, but the girls. I'm mostly hard working, willing to work, do, do whatever it takes. Yes, yeah, some boys. So, yeah. Boys are uh, hard working. You can see in the mountain, they're all hard working. Well, they, that's necessity there, yeah. 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 Necessity. Mm. <laughs> yeah, girls are working there. Guys that are very responsible. Mm. No yeah. playing, playing games. Be serious, bang, married, got lots of children. That's it. Mm. Yeah. Make lots of babies, yeah, they make them work in the field, huh? That's how to do yeah. it. Yeah, lots of babies that can all work in the field. Yeah. Enjoy your hunt. Hmm? Enjoy your hunt, it's very exciting, I was very excited when I made the decision to uh, yeah. look for a Filipino. He went there to see me just exactly one month, so quick, he's always rushing. I think I'm gonna go now. You might, <laughs> you know, it's going to so take it. Hey, if you're going to, I, I, I've always, since I was a young person, I've always been an idea, uh, but the idea is I always thought, well, just do something. And I was never scared of making a mistake. You can, you can always rectify that, but doing nothing, it's, I find it, hmm? just to do nothing is terrible. Just do it. Do it. Make your mistakes. Right, don't, don't do nothing. Yeah. That is the thing that may surprise you the most. Mm. Is the idea that you have to marry the family as well. Mm. Yeah. Which is not really the case in the West. Mm. Yeah, because, uh, okay, I'll say that uh, uh, it's a. Yeah, probably uh, a Filipino believes that a family is much more, ch more important than a Western girl. It's different the way we and, wrote up Oh, friends. I'd say, and, and also, a Filipina is much more forgiving towards a family than a Western person would be. Yeah, that's right. Much more I, forgiving, yeah. even if they, even if the family uh, uh, scam them, steal from them, whatever, just oh, forgive them. It's okay. That's your family. Yeah, what yeah. What can you do? And don't expect uh, the family to say uh, thank you or sorry. That's very hard to say thank you or sorry because and also it's a great belief in the in the filipino family that a child uh, should honor their parents and, do, and even when they're married it doesn't matter uh, they still should do as the parents tell them which is quite amazing really Some, yeah. not all of it. Some, 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 some. But amazing when, when some parents will say, well, uh, the only reason you is because of me, I gave you life, so you have to do as I say. But then what I always find amazing is they never do what their parents say. Hmm. So one way, uh, is. Yeah, so tell us your story, because this is your topic. You must have lots of stories. Go on, tell us your, the one that is so funny. The one no. that... Oh, it's quite disgusting. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's, it's 8 o'clock now, nobody's uh, eating now, okay? They've done the tea. Go on. <laughs> okay, go on. Go on, honey. Wow. Come on, Spence. Come on now. Come on, tell us a story. Well, I don't think I can do this. I'll okay. try, I'll try, I'll try. Uh -huh. 
Uh, when I was 16, I got a job as a training engineer, civil engineer working on the highways. 16 years old? 16, yeah. Wow. That's, that's when people know, well, that's when my age people start work. Oh, yeah? And uh, I was working with the engineer, setting some levels and whatever we were doing. No, I, I should backtrack a little bit. Okay. Because uh, because I'm I'm the young guy, so I'm the dog's body as well. They think, oh, he's a he's the puppy, he can do everything. Mm. I it's different then because if he didn't do you told you got a slap then. Mm. They, they, I yeah, I had a couple of slaps there. It was just wow. the way things were, forty five yeah. years ago, mm. and uh, only you know, fifty years ago, and then uh, so uh, in the olden days. On the side of the road, making making a, a, a new road, a bypass, bypass the little village, and uh, the guys said they they would have a, a, an outside a wooden dunny, little wooden dunny, and I remember the GF general foreman came to me and said he's going to be Murphy, 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 go empty the dunny, <laughs> and I said because even I'm a little tiny guy, <laughs> say. I don't use the effing dunny, so I ain't cleaning the effing dunny. And amazingly, <laughs> he accepted that. Yeah, okay. So I, I remember that, that, that there was an ex guy, he was quite a bit older than me, he'd been in his early, early 20s. And so, uh, Bibber, so they went to Bibber, well, Bibber, you've got to do it. And Bibber said the same, the only thing was, Bibber was using it. I remember, oh, and it's disgusting, because I remember looking at this dunny. <laughs> and they obviously weren't, they weren't sitting because it was higher than the seat. Oh, yeah. It's disgusting. But anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> no, you didn't. the GF, I hope you are not eating The GF waited until Bibber went. Bibber? Bibber. Bibber. To, Bibber. to do his business. <laughs> and then he, he, he went behind the. Uh, the dunny, and we have this thing in engineering called ranging rods, which is a, a red and white pole to a marker for your angles and, and levels and everything. And uh, they got a range rod, and he pushed the dunny down on the door. Oh my god! I know. <laughs> I but he was trapped because it was landing on the door, and put, he was screaming. <laughs> It was obviously pitch black. Oh my goodness me, poor guy. He was guy. screaming and screaming and screaming. I remember the engineer with me. I, I was on the floor laughing. <laughs> and this engineer goes, I said, that's wrong, that's so wrong. Oh, uh, and, uh, and I, what I, happened to I, him? They, 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 they finally picked the dunny up. <laughs> and poor <laughs> Bill. Poor Bill, he's covered. I, I remember we had a habit then of wearing two. It was cold, it was the winter. So oh my God. So you wore two <laughs> two pairs of jeans to that one time. There's no you have to buy your own work clothes. I remember Bibber taking <laughs> taking his jeans off. Oh fuck. Taking his jeans off. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then and then he's still covered. He had to use a knife to scrape it. But you couldn't go home because they were from miles away. They waited to go home at night in a van. It was about an hour and a half's drive to get home. Oh god. And, and he was scraping it off. Wow. Wow. But I, I remember after that, Johnny, the, the GF, yeah. he, he made a frame, <laughs> big sleeps everywhere, oh and ham, hammered the dunny, dunny down up it, so nobody could tip it over. Oh dear. Just in case, but I don't think, because he's a giant of a guy, I don't think anybody would have done it to Johnny, <laughs> but just in case. <laughs> oh uh, dear. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. That's a hell of a mess, this is. That's, that's an always, if I ever think I always think he's that. Uh, before you go to work, mm. go and unload. Never take that. Never take it to work. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. what the. Yeah. That's yeah. all I've got is 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 toilet humor like that. Oh, Spence likes toilet. Uh, um, what is that? Eh? A video, eh? He's Trilling. just laughing, laughing, you know. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah really Funny, nice. just, it makes me laugh. Huh? Wind laugh. like that. I really like that. You mm. know, pulling in the. Swimming out in the pool like that. Oh my goodness me! Mm, he really likes to watch that kind of stuff. Crazy. I, I, I remember when I was young, there was a film came out called Blazing Saddles. I want to say what was his name? The Jewish guy, really, really Mel Brooks. And, was, and the guys were eating beans, and they all went round and went. And the first time I'd ever seen anything like that, I thought it was hilarious. And ever since then, I've been addicted to toilet humor.
It's ah. quite disgusting, but that's me. I don't really make any apologies for it, just the way I am. It's what makes me laugh. Yeah. Oh, I've got some real real stories, but they're quite disgusting. Oh, maybe they like not, to not, not me, hear. Not me, not me. Yeah, I know. I, I maybe, know. They, maybe they want to hear next time, okay? No, if no, they but the like problem it. is, it, it was funny 50 years ago, but you wouldn't get it now. different Because mm -hmm. things have changed so much today. Uh -huh. you know, people don't, don't go out and shit in a bloody bit wood now, <laughs> you know? You did? Yeah, did, but I'm an old guy, but no, they wouldn't do that. Uh, really? Yeah. The, the, but if you really, really want to do it in the middle of the nowhere, so you have to do it. Oh yeah, guys like me do it, yeah, but I don't think young people do. Wow. I, I say, I've got to go, I've, I've got to go back to the yard. Well, we used to, we working. And well, I remember when we, we were concreting footways around houses and this guy was really, really lazy. And every time we started up a pool of concrete, he said, I've got to go to the yard now. Uh, I've got to go and load. He said, but we just that. He said, nothing can do about it because it's a law. He's allowed. He's allowed to go. So he would mm. take off, and and uh, by the time he got there, and if if he did anything, and uh, came back, it'd be two hours, and we'd be finished. And he did it I've all never the time, done all that, the time. You know? But but mate, what they did in the end with this this guy was, they gave him a job in the yard. So he was there. So he couldn't mm. take two hours off all every day. So he he worked in the yard, and they gave him an awful job just cleaning up crap. But that's that's uh, something which in two hours a day. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's it then, yeah? Yeah. Is there anything you wanna... That's my story. That's your story. It's funny. I laughed, so... It was funny being there. It was hilarious. Wow. 40, 49 years ago. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I still remember it vividly. Yeah, because this month you're gonna be... What? 65, are you? Honey? Next week or the week after, soon. Soon. Are you gonna have big party, are ya? Oh yeah, big party, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go and uh, we'll go and get a kebab or some fish and chips. Have a treat. We'll have a treat. Okay, that's it for us today, guy. Uh, tonight, guys. Um, yeah, okay. Late now. Okay. Okay then. Thank you for watching, and see you soon. Have a nice day, everyone. Night, night. Goodbye. Bye. Okay. okay, dude. Okay.